just like the Khan Academy. All right, so we're sitting here in Browning, and we've got several solar thermal projects, and we set up two Omega USB temperature recording devices to measure temperature. We set one inside, we set another one outside, and what did we see with the inside temperature? Was it, was it flat or did it move a lot? Remember from a couple days ago, the indoor one? The indoor one stayed flat. The outdoor one moved a lot more just because we had the insulation inside. Mm -hmm. And I think we took one in Celsius, and we took the other one in Fahrenheit. So we need to be able to convert between the two, so when we give our data, they look, look appropriate. Okay, and we're also outside right now on two different teams taking temperature data uh, for, for our rocket stove. We'll be done in 10 minutes. Okay. For our rocket stove, for our um, uh, solar oven, and for our solar thermal. So what we've done so far is we've gone to the Khan Academy and we've looked up the formula for Fahrenheit to Celsius and also Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I'm going to record all of what I'm doing right now is recording my voice, what's on the screen. I'm going to put that into Microsoft Excel, and then you can follow along, and then you'll know exactly how to do it in Microsoft Excel. And then we'll even put it into PowerPoint. So I'm going to go kind of fast, but I think we'll do it. So um, let's first go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I'm going to put in a bunch of different temperatures in Fahrenheit, and I think the ranges we went, we went through, so here's all our, our data we took so far. We've got... Um, the coldest temperatures we felt range from negative 25 all the way up to 7. And the hottest temperatures we've ever felt range from 90 all the way up to 100, 112. And we also, we also learned the other day that planes could not take off in Phoenix, Arizona because it was 127 degrees. And we'll see how hot that is in Celsius, too. Okay, so, from, so we'll, we'll first do this uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, so I'm going to, just like we did with our pencil paper, I'm going to put an F up here for Fahrenheit. Make this a little bit larger. And what would we say, what was the lowest uh, temperature? Lowest temp was minus 25, so I'm just going to start there. Minus 25. The next one, minus 24. No, it's not. Uh, it's we're right here right now. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna scroll this all the way up. I'll be right back. So we're gonna scroll this um, all the way up to our max, which is 127. So, so right now I've just got my, I put in the first two numbers, and this will work for any, um, any numbers if you just want to count. Microsoft Excel is very good at counting. So I'll start minus 25, minus 24, and I'm going to take this all the way up. And all I'm, all I'm doing, I've just got my, my mouse at the bottom, and I'm scrolling it all the way up to, well, I got to 135, so I know I'm at least above 127. All right, so there's my Fahrenheit. Here's my Celsius. I'm going to put that in the center. And if I go back to my Khan Academy, um, to get the Celsius, what I'm going to do is subtract 32, and then I'm going to multiply by 5 ninths. So if I go here, if I go here, uh, Khan Academy, Celsius. So equal. So the, the most important thing to put in here is the equal sign. If you don't put the equal sign in, you won't have a formula. So first I'm going to, and do you guys remember from math class how you do, um, it's called My Dear Aunt Sally? 
so multiplication, division, and okay. So what we're going to do is put this first number in parentheses so that the Fahrenheit minus 32 is treated like a single number. So F minus 32, so equals, so I'm going to open up the parens. So there's my Fahrenheit, and all I did was click in that cell. Click in the cell. And then we'll, what am I subtracting? How many? 32. Thank you. Thank you. Minus 32. Okay, so I've got that in parens, right? So D3 minus 32, and it went down to minus, minus 57. What I forgot to do, which would be really cool, what I forgot to do was multiply by 5 ninths. So I've got F minus 32. So equals 5 times uh, 5 times 9. Let's, so I'm, I'm going to multiply up front. So it's going to be easier if I do 5 times. <coughs> and then at the back end, I'll just do divided by 9. Because it's usually easier to think about Multiplication first, so that's the M and my, and then the, and then um, dear is a second. So I'll do multiplication first, and I'll do division second. But since I put this guy in parens, it'll be treated like a single number. Okay, so minus 25 Fahrenheit is negative 32 Celsius. And just to make this number a little easier to read, I'm going to. Um, just stick with with two numbers. I'm not going to worry about the decimal. Okay, so from here, the next thing, now here's the kind of the cool thing about Excel. So remember we wrote down our numbers. If I wanted to do this by hand, it would take forever. Like every single time I'd have to do minus 32 times 5 time, divided by 9. But if I just take this little corner, drag it down, I'm going to drag it all the way down, and all I've got, all I've done is drag the mouse down. Actually, I don't want those to be the same, so I'm going to add one more decimal. So I've just got each decimal so that each number is a little bit different. All right, now, let's just go in and highlight the numbers that we were investigating before. So we had three Fahrenheit. Three Fahrenheit is negative 16.1 Celsius. Sounds colder, but it's not. It's the same temperature. What was the next one? Five? Okay, five Celsius is negative 15. Still cold, but it's warmer, right? You went from minus 16 up to minus 15. Uh, what was the next one? Seven? So we're getting warmer, minus 13.9. Who's, who was minus, who was uh, three degrees? I can't remember. What's that? Me. No, okay, I'll just, I'll just put an S uh, by that one. Who was five? Me. Okay, Bristol was that one. And Nick, you were seven? Okay. And what was mine? Mine was minus 25. Whoa. Minus 25. Okay, I'll just put my, I'll just put that. Just BR for Brad right there. So. Well, I can't even do that because we've got the first two letters to say. I'll just put my initials, B-E-L. So there's mine. And then, um, so the last thing I'm going to do is plot this. Oh, no, I need two more. I need a couple more numbers. Uh, not right now, <laughs> but thanks for asking. So here's zero. We kind of want to know what, what zero was. And then we're going to go up to our hottest temperatures. Who was, um, who was at 90? Remind me who's 90. Hottest temp. Who's at 90? Remind me who's, who's 90. Okay. Who else? Was that yours too? Okay. And then... 
Thank you. Okay, Chanel is uh, 110. Uh, mine was 112. Mine was 112. And then Arizona was 127. Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, so that's the first step. We got two more steps, then we'll hit lunch. Two more steps. So I'm going to take this. So first, I'm going to see if I can just grab, so I'm just grabbing all these cells. Grabbing all these cells. Now, here's what you want to do next. You want to go up to insert. Charts. So look, so here's um, so here's our here's our chart. We're going so just with like that one little click, we went from just a, that one little formula. It's in every single cell. We went from um, we went from minus minus thirty Fahrenheit all the way up to. Um, yeah, minus, actually minus 25 Fahrenheit, all the way up to 135 Fahrenheit. In Celsius, we went from minus 30 all the way up to 60. So then the last thing I'm going to do is I'll take this, copy it. And so when we get into PowerPoint, new blank presentation, here's what we're going to do. We've got our, um, we've got our, our figure. We're going to copy it. We're going to come into PowerPoint, and we're going to paste as a picture. Okay. So now, when you when you all are, are giving your presentation, you'll have you'll have data just like this in your um, in your PowerPoint presentation and you'll be able to label it. So I'll save this file. Save as. Computer. 2017. Courses. This is um, 195. Okay. Practicum. 2017. This is going to be, uh, I'll just call it C to F for now. Okay, I'll throw it out. PowerPoint, save. All right, so there we, there we did. So just as a re review, we started with the poster over in the corner, and we, we covered what STEM was. So. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics. What we did here was just a really simple example of mathematics. And the example was to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. We did a little bit of research. We went out to the Khan Academy. Great authority for all things mathematics. We found the formula to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. We, we kind of found our own favorite temperatures and then we plot them. So what we'll do after lunch, we'll come back into this um, figure and we'll plot each person's um, high and low temp and then we'll practice our presentations. All right, there it is. So let's all, let's all stick together here. I'm going to wrap up this little presentation. Not bad, 15 minutes. <laughs>